Hi everyone, this is Teacher Chain of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-usapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagha! In our previous video, we talked about the wind system in the Philippines. This time, our Shensh Amazing episode will be focusing in the weather disturbances that can be seen in our country. Cyclones. Tropical cyclones are classified according to maximum winds blowing near the center. We have tropical depressions, tropical storms, and typhoons. These are just the common cyclones experienced by our country. A tropical depression has wind speed of less than 63 kilometers per hour. A tropical storm has a wind speed of 63 to 118 kilometers per hour, which is faster than a tropical depression. And the third one, Typhoon, has wind speeds of more than 118 kilometers per hour. Any cyclone stronger, more severe, or more devastating than this can be classified as a super typhoon. Meteorologists actually use a tropical cyclone intensity scale to classify cyclones entering our country. But for our discussion in grade 7 science, we will just be sticking to this common term. One recent example of a tropical depression is Tropical Depression Kinta. As you can see, the map shows Tropical Depression Kinta in its early days before it matured into a typhoon. In this picture, you can see Tropical Storm Ambo. Tropical Storm Ambo started as a tropical depression on May 10, 2020, and gradually intensified into a severe tropical storm by May 13, 2020. 
This time, you are now seeing Typhoon Ompong, which made landfall in the northeastern Philippines in September 15, 2018. It had sustained wind speeds of more than 205 kilometers per hour and was an extremely powerful and catastrophic typhoon that caused extensive damage in the Philippines. And on the severe kinds of tropical cyclones, you are seeing Super Typhoon Yolanda, which was one of the most powerful tropical cyclones ever recorded. Its recorded highest wind speed is 315 km per hour, and the recorded number of fatalities summed up to more than 6,000 people. Paano nabubuo ang mga cyclones? Most tropical cyclones form over large and warm areas in the ocean or seas. Cyclones that reach the Philippines generally form near the Caroline Marianas Island group and move towards the Philippines in a west-northwest direction. In the area where a cyclone forms, the water is warmer than the surrounding waters. Its temperature is higher than 26 degrees Celsius, so in this case, ang area na ito ay mas mainit. Because of this, the warm air above the water rises, as indicated by the red arrows. Because of the rising of the air, a low pressure is formed on the sea surface. The rising air expands, and the expansion of air against the pressure of the atmosphere results in cooling o sa madaling salita, clouds are formed. The air around the area where cyclones are formed rushes towards the cyclone to replace the air that initially rose. This air then warms up and then rises to the atmosphere, form clouds, and the cycle continues. During this stage, a low-pressure area has been formed as indicated by the low pressure on the center. A low-pressure area will fully develop into a cyclone if there is a continuous supply of rising warm moist air, sufficient lifting of the air, it should be high enough, and there is a continuous exit of air above to permit a continuous flow of rising air from below. If these conditions are not maintained, the low-pressure area may disintegrate. If you are familiar with cyclones or typhoons, you might have heard of the term Eye of the Typhoon, which is a calm, rainless spot. What does this mean? The eye is so calm because the strong surface winds that converge towards the center never reach it. This is because of the deflection of the wind slightly away from the center. The deflection is explained by the Coriolis effect. Because of the Coriolis effect, the wind rotates around the center of the cyclone, leaving the exact center, or the eye, a very calm area. That's just the simplest explanation on how cyclones are formed. We will learn more about it in our succeeding videos. Dahil hindi na tayo bago sa mga bagyo, we are familiar with the effects of typhoons. One of its extreme effects is flooding o pagbaha. In the Philippines, floods are natural due to typhoon. It is often due to improper garbage disposal, clogged drainages, and poor urban planning. Floods usually damage our household materials and our appliances. And in most severe cases, floods can cause death among people. Before we have a short quiz, let's have a quick recap of our Shensha Amazing episode for today. We discussed about the weather disturbances in the Philippines. We defined a tropical cyclone. We got to know Pagasa or the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. We also identified the kinds of cyclones. And we tackled the basic ideas of cyclone formation. And in the last part of our video, we talked about the dreadful outcomes of typhoons. 
It's good time to check how much you have learned in our Shansh Amazing episode today. We are going to have a short 3 minute quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check kung tama ba ang mga sagot ninyo. Handa na ba kayo? Your three minutes. Let's check kung tama ang mga sagot nyo. We will write T if the statement about cyclones and weather disturbances is true, then F kung mali. Number one, a typhoon has wind speed of more than 118 kilometers per hour. The answer is T. We can arrange the classifications of cyclones in terms of wind speed. Una, tropical depression, then tropical storm, Typhoon and then super typhoon. Number two, a continuous supply of cool air develops a low pressure area into a cyclone. This is tricky, but if your answer is F false, you are correct. A continuous supply of warm air is needed to develop a cyclone because this warm air rises, cools down, and contribute to the formation of clouds which become a vital part of a cyclone. Number three, continuous exit of air above the low pressure area or LPA will contribute to cyclone formation. This is true. The exit of air allows more air to rise and contribute to a bigger and stronger cyclone formation. Number four, a tropical depression has wind speed less than 63 kilometers per hour. Kung ang sagot nyo ay T, true, tama ka. Kung ikukumpara natin sa tropical storm at typhoon, tropical depression has the least wind speed. Number 5, typhoons form over the Indian Ocean. This is false. 
typhoons form over the Pacific Ocean. Kaya nga, typhoons ang tawag natin sa ating mga cyclones. Cyclones which form in the Indian Ocean are simply called cyclones. Kapag sa Atlantic Ocean naman, they are called hurricanes. Number 6. Cyclones formed in the Northern Hemisphere rotates counterclockwise. This is true due to the deflection of the winds. Kapag cyclones naman na nasa Southern Hemisphere, ang rotation ay clockwise. Number 7. Pagasa means Philippine Atmospheric Geological and Astronomical Services Administration. Ito ay false because of the term geological. Dapat geophysical. That ends our 7 item quiz. Please comment your score over 7 in the comment section below. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. We hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!